This contest is set for one fall with a 20 minute time limit. Approaching the ring first from Long Island, New York, Danny Jordan. Danny Jordan, the real mean girl, coming out with the burn buck. I believe she's got Penelope Ford's name written down and underlined in triplicate. Veda, I picture you maybe to have a burn book. Like, because you're always so nice, and I think it's a little bit of a front, but behind the scenes, you got like some book. And secretly, I'm just, just, just burying, burying everybody. everyone. I hope that's true. I haven't seen she. I, she might have a page for me in there. I haven't seen it. I don't think I want to see it. Oh, you it. got heat with a lot of the girls. I've heard. I'm just saying. From who, Taz? From well, who? From people. Danny Jordan. <laughs> <laughs> I read her burn book. That's how. <laughs> And her opponent, being accompanied to the ring by Kip Sabian from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, Penelope Fool. Two of my favorite people. You know that, Excalibur. Oh, I do. But before this match gets underway, we have to mention not only the upcoming nuptials between Kip Sabian and Penelope Ford, but the debut of the best man last week on Dynamite. Miro. Shocking, shocking. Coming into AEW. At the behest of Kip Sabian, what a story, but that's a story for another time as we have action here in the women's division, the number four rank, Penelope Ford going one-on-one -on -one with Danny Jordan. See what she did right there, she took her engagement ring off, and, and Sabian is so impressed with the ring that he gave her. Look at the size of that thing. Are you kidding me? I think like a freaking hood ornament, that thing. It's huge. The money this guy makes, forget about it. If I had his money, I'd burn mine. Is that Twitch money? I think it's Twitch money he's making. Right? I don't do the Twitch. Are you saying uh, Kip? Yes. Well, he's done pretty well as a professional wrestler, Gator. I don't think it's just like playing video games. That's. What I'm Twitch just is, trying right? to put over the Twitch thing. He's very into his Twitch stream. Because you Skip want the Sabian. YouTube put over that while people are watching this on. That's what you want. Twitch.tv backslash the Kip she Sabian. He wants to be put over on YouTube by all the fans that are putting everybody else over. I try I not to read the YouTube comments in general as a woman <laughs> in wrestling. <laughs> That's so this point. is the bad girl versus the real <laughs> mean girl. Point. I feel like there's not a lot. I, there, the I super think, bad girl. And the, the only, girl. I, I gotta interrupt you, uh, the only real heel woman in that match, that true heel, is the ref. <laughs> but I just, I feel like there's more mileage I could get jerk. out of that. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, baby. Jesus, more come on, glued part. Sorry, yeah. <laughs> Oh. Penelope before just pie facer. So this honestly, this here might be a battle of who can be worst to each other. I think it's great. Isn't that what it's about, this business? It's about fighting, it's about rage, it's about hatred, it's about anger. It's not about rainbows and butterflies and poodles. Danny Jordan. Danny Jordan. Oh! 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 And Danny Jordan, she was going for a tope there, which in and of itself is a huge risk for her. She's coming off a, a major knee injury. This is this is one of her first matches back at all from that. So it shows how much she wants to win to just take a risk like that. And, you, you know, I mean, to your point, Veda, the tope suicida, that's how Chris Statlander injured her knee earlier this year against Ooh. Penelope Ford. And so it is a move that's very risky. Cover here. Yeah, because if you... As you're doing that tope suicide, if you hit your, if your foot, your instep catches on one of the ropes, that's all you need, and you crash and burn, knee first on that apron with your knee, you're gonna, you can basically just blow it out. Well, Taz, I actually set Veda up for that question, but thanks for mansplaining. Well, I just, well, I'm not allowed to speak. Oh, I'll just lay out, no problem. I'll be over here. Do you want your pen, Taz? <laughs> Penelope Ford's got. Keep got Danny Jordan up on the shoulders. Keep the pen. And I'm sorry, but this is impressive. Oh! oh, oh. The knees to the midsection. Oh! That gut buster, just impressive every time I see it. Yeah, great strength shown there by Penelope Ford. Uh, Kip, Kip Sabian, he has the burn bunk. I think he's... He's been I think flipping he's, through it. He's well, showing he see, yeah, Penelope yeah. her page. Wow. Oh, you're not supposed to see that, Penelope. Oh. And now, could be that Penelope's got a little extra oh. fire here. She is pissed off for sure as Penelope. Super bad girls, angrier than ever. I, 
didn't even see what it said, but it must have been bad. That had to be real bad. Oh. Referee Aubrey Edwards catches Penelope, attempting to use the burn book as a weapon. Danny Jordan. Oh my gosh. Rolling Penelope around, hitting her with a series of right elbow strikes. The clothesline takes Penelope off her feet. Second one. Lost the footing right there to Danny Jordan. The waist lock chops Penelope down the thrust kick to the jaw. Danny Jordan in the driver's seat here. Waist lock. She's going for a German, but nice block by Penelope. Arm drags are over. Kind of an arm drag, more of a just kind of like a Sayanagi throw, but she like a drop Sayanagi, you would call that, to be honest. Oh, Penelope. That bridge, yeah. Into the stunner. Great avoidance. And now with Penelope in the headlock, or excuse me, Danny Jordan in the headlock, Penelope goes through. Like a, like a bulldog right into the corner. And that top turnbuckle pad, I mean, it's, it's a pad, but it's not very thick. That, that metal turnbuckle still lurks below it. Oh, shotgun drop kick by Penelope Ford. Heard a back on that. She landed hard to Penelope on that drop kick off the top rope, that shotgun drop kick off the top. top. Well, that, that particular move is always a huge risk for yourself. It's very, very physically intense. And now, Fisherman suplex. One, two, three. The winner of this match, Penelope Ford. Well, impressive that Penelope was able to hit that Fisherman suplex with that awesome bridge she has after landing on her back and injuring her back off the drop kick off the top. But Tess, she gets so high up on her toes. Does, is there anybody in AEW that hits a Fisherman suplex better than Penelope Ford? Uh, I would say she's probably close to, in the female division, she's definitely on the top. But yeah, she's definitely, she really has a great back arch. You see it. right here how deep she is. That's oh. the key to get your hips in deep. And we've seen her even get a higher arch than that, but I think her back being effective on that drop kick prevented that. But she got the win. And Danny Jordan may think twice about adding any new names to her burn book as Penelope Ford getting her hand raised is victorious here tonight on Dark. Burr, burr, burr.